Hi, this is Andrea Schulman from Raise Your Vibration Today, and today I want to share with you three positivity challenges that you can use over the next five days to deliberately raise your vibration. Now, why this can be helpful is that, you know, when we have a higher vibration, when we're in a positive emotional state, things in life go very, very smoothly for us. Now, here's another thing. If we just keep doing the same things that we're always, we've always been doing, we tend to stay around the same vibrational state that we've always been in. So positivity challenges can be very beneficial because they get you moving in a more positive direction. So the more actions, thoughts, and feelings that you take to trend upwards, the quicker you're gonna move upwards and the more you're gonna stay in a higher and more elevated state. So to that end, Let's go ahead and share with you these three positivity challenges that you can use over the next five days. Okay, so with these three challenges, I'm gonna offer them to you easiest to hardest. So depending on where you are right now, you may wanna start with just the first challenge or you may wanna build up to the third challenge if you're feeling particularly good these days. You can also mix and match these challenges. So you could do number one with number three, number two with number one, or all three of them if you felt so inspired. So here's the first challenge. Challenge number one, every day for the next five days, wake up and spend about one to two minutes thinking about all of the things that you're thankful for in your life. So while you're still in bed, still under the covers, run through a list of the things that you're grateful for, maybe your home, your family, your health, whatever the case may be, and do your best to really dwell on that gratitude. This is a great positivity challenge because it gets your day started off on a very positive track. And if you get started on a positive track, it's a lot more likely that that's gonna continue throughout the course of the day. So that's an easy one. It's one you can do in your pajamas, and it's one that's very simple to do. So. Anyone can do that first positivity challenge. All right, now the second positivity challenge requires a little bit more effort. So if you're feeling up for it, here it is. With this second positivity challenge every day, again, for the next five days, I want you to do something kind for a stranger. So, for example, maybe you see a mother struggling with her children and she drops something on the ground, lean over and pick that up for her. Or perhaps you see somebody who looks like they're lost, stop and ask, th ask them if they need directions. Or perhaps you're going through the drive through at Starbucks, you could purchase the coffee for the person behind you. Doesn't matter what it is, but just pick some kind of unexpected kind thing, typically something that would be above and beyond what you would usually do and do that every day for five days. All right, now the third positivity challenge I placed last because in my opinion, it's the most challenging, at least it was for me. Um, I've been practicing positive thinking and the law of attraction deliberately for the better part of a decade. And I personally would have avoided this challenge up until about maybe two, maybe three years ago. So it does require focus and it does require you being in a very positive state of mind. But that being said, it's a really great one to do. So for this third positivity challenge, again, every day for five days, avoid complaining. So every time you hear yourself about to gripe or complain or talk poorly about something that happened during your day, stop yourself take a deep breath and redirect. Now with this last one, again, this last one is challenging. So if you slip up, it's okay. It's all right if you mess up a little bit here and there, but that challenge is a really awesome one at keeping your mind very focused on being positive throughout the course of your day. All right, so I really hope that you enjoy these positivity challenges. Try out one or two or even all three, see how they work out for you. And if you feel so inspired, drop me a comment below and let me know how it went for you.